ain't no time to play in. Fresh presents eight urban celebrities battling it out Māori and Pacifica styles in a bid to not be the most plastic poly present. Oh, and this sweet ass prize. A trip for two to the Pearl of the Pacific, Samoa, courtesy of Air New Zealand. And five nights accommodation at the luxurious Taumiasina Island Resort. We'll even throw in some pocket money so our winner can fill their suitcase up with turtle chips for the flight home. It's time to swap those Jordans for Jandals. This is... Know Your Roots. Samoa. So what a boom shot this, what I eat and not a miss. If a man want this, he will catch up in me fish. Yes, make in a grass, who I eat when I'm crisp. So we're down to the final three, me, Bianca and Grace. The sun's out for us today, so I'm just ready to go, ready to smash it, ready to take the title. I have no idea what we're going to be doing today. I'm hoping that we're going swimming, though, because these guys don't want to swim. They're scared, so that'll be a bonus for me if we do something swimming-related. Fingers crossed we're not doing any diving, any backstroke, um, any fighting in the water, because I can't swim. Looking at my competitors, their body language isn't saying we're confident. <laughs> Malo Fano, Manuia to you three for making it to the Know Your Roots Grand Final right here in the treasured islands of the South Pacific in Samoa. Woo! Yeah. yeah, it's far too early to appreciate the beauty of this place at the moment. We're we'll back to um, my morning monster's gone. <laughs> you will get Grace back. Grace had a diva moment this morning. Actually, she had about 10 diva moments this morning, so already cracks are starting to show with people. By the end of today, one of you will be crowned champion and will get to take me as your plus one on that sweet ass prize. In one ear, out the other. But no matter what happens, you can all go home proud knowing that none of you are a plastic potty. No, you know what? I will take that. I will take that compliment. Just goes to show I'm not as plastic as I thought I was. Your final challenge. It's all about language and race relations. Well, it's just about language and it's a race. My Samoan is horrible. Here in Apia, forget the supermarket. When you want goods, you go to the Makeki or the market. So today, you're going shopping, island styles. You will each be given 50 tala. You'll also be told three items you need to find and purchase at the Makeki. Now, you might need to haggle on those prices because you'll need to use the remainder of that 50 tala to catch a taxi here to the finish line at Taumiasina Island Resort, where I'll be waiting. So, no money, no taxi, no finish. Wow, this challenge just sounds like it's something like uh, The Amazing Race now with a Samoan twist. The winner will be the freshie with the most correct items who gets to the finish line first. Hopefully, I'll be celebrating at the end of the day just like I was last week. But here's the kicker. When buying your island delight, you can only speak Samoan. We're not allowed to speak English. So I'm feeling really nervous today. Very, very nervous now. I can't speak Samoan, only the silly words. <laughs> Is Boomer Samoan? I thought Boomer was Tongan. You won't be told what these items are in English. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. If at any point you do speak the colonizer's tongue, you'll be penalized three minutes, which will be added to your finishing time. I know for sure Grace is going to rack up like 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. I've done basic Samoan in intermediate school, so I know how to count and say talofa. <laughs> This is your Samoan language expert. Talofa tamaiti. Talofa tamaiti. Talofa. Hey, all right. <laughs> oh, man, when Daz pops up, I was like, here we go. Uh, my name is Daz Fresh. Welcome to Samoa. I am your Samoan expert speaking Samoan expert. <laughs> We're in for a treat. <laughs> the food is on the other channel. Your colonizing way will not work here today because you have to speak in Samoan. 
It's going to take a little bit of work to have confidence to speak to the locals um, in Samoan because, yeah, I'm not very good at it. Daz will tell you the three items you need to buy and will also provide you with a few handy words that might help you along the way. Uh, firstly, you need to know Tarofa. Tarofa, very good. Fa'a mole mole. Fa'a mole mole. Uh, the other one is Faftai. Say Fafetai. Fafetai. And the other one is Kobo Estas. Uh, ni how much? Ni how much? And the other one is Das Vitania. Yeah, he mixed it up a little bit. I wasn't sure if he was serious or not. Is he telling us the truth or is he trying to stitch us up? Yeah, we'll, we'll know when I get punched in the face. <laughs> So the three item that you have to find today at the Makeki, number one is Lenga. Say it with me, Lenga. Lenga. Like the legendary NRL superstar, Elfie Lenga. Uh, the part two is uh, Sasalapa. 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 And the free one is Ula Pua. Ula Pua. Say it with me, Ula Pua. Lenga, Ula Pua, and Sasalapa. Sasalapa, Lenga, and Ulupua. Lenga? Sasalo. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose! Oh my god! Uh, one other important phrase you might need to have with you when you're going in there is Emawase. Say with me, Emawase. Emawase. That means, do you have? It was more the English I didn't really understand. I'm hoping that the lines that he's given us this morning are legit. God speed, God be with you. Mm. Be mamafa, be mama. And remember, always be respectful in there. Don't be rude and know you're rude. Laters. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about speaking Samoan because I, I don't want to embarrass myself. And it's just that thing of not being accepted because um, I don't know my language. Anything I do, I just want to make my family proud. So even though the tears are coming, <laughs> I'm still going to smash it and I'm going to take the cup. Hello, Fano, Manuia to you three for making it to the Know Your Roots Grand Final right here in the treasured islands of the South Pacific in Samoa. Woo! Yeah. Today, you're going shopping, island stars. You will each be given 50 tala. You'll also be told three items you need to find and purchase at the Makiki. You'll need to use the remainder of that 50 tala to catch a taxi here to the finish line at Taumiasina Island Resort. So the three items that you have to find today at the Makeki, number one is Lenga. Uh, the part two is Sasalapa. And the free one is Ula Pua. But here's the kicker. When buying your island delights, you can only speak Samoan. If at any point you do speak the colonizer's tongue, you'll be penalized three minutes, which will be added to your finishing time. I think I got this. I'm gonna say yes. Gotta keep that confidence level high. I feel like I'm a bit of a hustler, so my strategy today is I've put my um, flower on the side of my ear that means that I'm single. So hopefully that helps me out. <laughs> I'm hoping that there's gonna be a few more diva moments from Grace at the markets you know, give them everyone a show and kind of give me a moment to kind of skedaddle and get all the things that I need to get. I'm looking around for single looking males. Okay, this is it. Remember, it's a race and remember your items. Go hard. I'll see you at the finish line. Tasi, Lua, Tolu, Alu. And then he said go and then I just went First thing I do is run to the single guy over here that I've eyed out. As soon as I looked into that market, I was like, damn, I'm not gonna find anything. Listed off the items that I need. I ran to one of the stores. I asked the guy for um Sasalapa. And he turned me away and he said, no camera. And I was like, shucks. 
Hey, what's the sasa la pa? What's the sasa la pa? In my first two minutes in there, I'm speaking English, Tongan, Māori, some random Samoan words that don't really make sense. Oh, fa veta, ula pua. They pull a necklace out, and I was like, ula pua, and they're looking at me like, are you sure? Are you just trying to sell me anything? Lo se follow. I think you want thirty bucks for it or something. I'm like. I've only got 50 and I still need to save some for my taxi ride. Like, but I can't say any of that in English. I'm really limited right now. So I'm uh, mucking around a bit, um, trying to remember the words or the items. Tussie. So he's trying to sell me three and I'm like, Tussie. And then I grab one from him and put it on my neck, like, AKA, I'm buying it. Can you just chuck us the money because I'm in a hurry? But the first thing I got was the langa. I was just like, yes, and then there are a couple of other items that I thought that she might have as well. And then I see Bianca. Get lost, you pink! When I went to turn to have a look around the table, I noticed this little man-child. I kind of start following her around. Get lost! He's forgotten what he was talking about and he's trying to cheat off me. Because I thought she'd be a bit more onto it. But I just had no time, so while I'm trying to negotiate, I'm just also trying to get this little man tried out of my way. Sasalapa. Salapa, ay. Sasalapa, and I was like, Sasalapa. He's going like this. And I was like, oh, okay, so it must be a food. The first item I got was the Sasalapa for Eitala. I've never seen a sasalapa before in my life. Sasalapa. This is sasalapa. Damn, it's an ugly piece of nature. Oh, yeah, yeah, mate. So then I go heading towards the food area. There's like bananas and fruits and stuff. I'm asking them at stores and you're just like, Mama says sasalapa. At this point, I'm really stressed, eh? Because um, I'm forgetting my words. Sasalapa? She points to this fruit that I've never seen in my life before. And I'm just hoping it's the right fruit. <laughs> so the sasalapa was apparently ten dollars. Balotala! Bartered it down to eight. I'll get this, yep. And then I've got a little bit to play with, as well as having money for the taxi ride home. So I'm just fingers crossed that this last item isn't too huge. <laughs> So I've got one more thing on my list. I'm running around the markets, I'm trying to hustle, trying to find that ulupua. Ufele ulupua. Um, yeah, kasi fa muli muli. And so I just was like, yep, give it here. I was just thinking, man, I don't know what I'm getting, I'll just grab it anyway. She was meant to be getting a ulupua, but she grabbed a ulu and a kiki <laughs> I don't see Bianca or Boma anywhere, but I'm in my own zone. I'm just like, need to find these items and don't even know what the items are, so it's, it's pretty hard. A lady was giving me roots, langa. a plant, and she held the powdered langa. I'm so confused. And I'm like, I don't know what's langa. <laughs> I asked a few people, like, langa? They're looking at me confused, langa? I'm like, am I saying it right? Langa. I was trying to check with the driver if I had the right things. I soon realised that I didn't have what I was supposed to have. <laughs> and then I just realised... <laughs> so, tried to do all the hand signals, trying to, you know, get him to turn around. Langa. And when I finally found some Langa, it was this little, like, powder in a bag, and I'm just like... I don't know if this is actually the right item. I, I was, I, I'm panicking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. 
the lady was asking for 20 tala, and I was like, I only have 26 tala. <laughs> I was like, take it, yeah, take it. And then I was on my way. As soon as I ran in and I saw it, this lady, she was just like, 20 tala. Um, and then I managed to hustle it down to $10, which I was just like, okay. So I know I've got at least 20 tala and some coins. So I'm looking around for the taxi stand. Yes, and then I jump in the taxi and I'm on my way. It could be neck and neck, basically. Like, I have no idea. I don't know. They, they could be ahead of me, they could be behind, but I'm just hoping that I'm ahead of them. I was like, damn, yes, I got this. This is easy. Today, you're going shopping, island stuff. You will each be given 50 tala. You'll also be told three items you need to find and purchase at the Makiki. You'll need to use the remainder of that 50 tala to catch a taxi here to the finish line at Taumiasina Island Resort. It could be neck and neck. They could be ahead of me, they could be behind, but I'm just hoping that I'm ahead of them. I know we're getting close, really close. I was just like, okay, maybe this is just a time to relax. You don't know where the other two are. I noticed a massive head in the taxi in front of me. It was Boomer. So already I was like, damn, okay, I'm still in the race. Get out of the car and start running for my dear life. I'm not very fit at the moment, but like, damn, when you want to win something, like, you run as fast as you can. I grab my stuff beside me, I hop out, and Bianca was maybe four, five steps ahead of me. I do know that he is quite a fast runner, um, you know, just the days of him running from the police. And then I just blitzed her. As I was running, it was like a nightmare. I would just go falling back and back and back until he just became a little dot. So I can see Ollie standing there alone. Oh, I've got this indescribable feeling like of just happiness, but it's so uncertainty because I'm not positive that I've won yet, but it feels like I've won. I'm here first, I think. I'm running down the footpath. I turn the corner and uh, Amazing Grace is standing there and my heart kind of sinks a little bit. Boomer, second one back. I can see, thank God, I have the same items as Grace and as Boomer. So I'm just hoping that, you know, Boomer and Grace, and we're speaking lots of English. First of all, big manuya to you three. Outstanding performance. Quicker than I expected, actually. And you all finished pretty close to each other. Grace, you finished first. How confident are you that you grabbed the correct items? I'm pretty confident because I checked with my taxi driver and it looks like we all got the same items too. How confident are you that you spoke only in Samoan? I'm telling myself I'm so sure I didn't, mm, but I'm starting to get scared. Boomer, you finished second. Towards the end there, I noticed you dropped off the pace and started walking. Did you forget that this is actually a race? Nah, I just got really tired, eh? Well, Grace was ahead of you. However, the time penalty for speaking English once was three minutes. So slowing down that walk could have put you out of contention. I think I should have just sprinted all the way and just empty the tank. We've checked the time you finished behind Grace. You finished two minutes and 56 seconds behind Grace. Man, they were actually pretty close. I need her to say one English word, just one. Bianca, you came in last. However, you are only just behind Boomer, who I mentioned was under three minutes behind Grace. Are you confident there's still a chance you might win? I mean, there's a little 
little bit of hope. I feel, though, that it's definitely between Boomer and Grace. Well, Grace, you finished first. You have the correct items, as do you all. But... I hate it when Ollie says, but, after your name. Yes. <laughs> do you have a penalty for speaking English? If I spoke English, I'm over somehow. He won. Yes, I have a chance. And it seems No, you don't. You are oh, the Know Your Roots oh, champion. I'm just so happy, like, I can't even describe how happy I am. Hi, my Grace. <gasps> Congratulations. Manuia. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes! <laughs> well done. I was so stoked for my girl, Grace. She did such an awesome job. And I'm actually really impressed because she's Māori. She's not Samoan, so for her to just kind of get into the market, not speak any English, go hard with her Samoan, I was really impressed. I won! I won Know Your Roots! I wow! Uma, later a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it feels pretty sweet, to be honest. I honestly hadn't expected to win. I was just happy to be here. There's just so many awesome moments along the way, like so many highlights. I've made so many close friends now, you know. Basically, family now. Good luck getting rid of me, guys. <laughs> this journey has been amazing, honestly. I really, really enjoy today. Even coming to Sa, seeing my homeland, touching the ground with my feet, it's just been beautiful, man. To be honest, I was really nervous doing this because sometimes I get scared if I try that maybe I'll fail and I'll be the biggest plastic person ever. So I've learned heaps of things. I've met some real cool people and yeah, I feel really proud, not only of myself, but also of all my mates, even Boomer. I've never had an experience like this before, and um, it's so far out of my comfort zone. And any opportunity I do get, I'll take it to learn my culture more, you know? I'm so grateful for it. Boomer, later, bowl. <laughs> Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.